Now I will explain how I made this project. I have developed a rule based model that turns English text into sign language. It's all about making the communication easier for the people who use the sign language. So basically I built a computer program that follows the certain rules to translate the written words into the sign language gestures. So let's dive deep and explore how it works. United Nation mentions in its report that around 460 million people worldwide have the hearing loss. So despite the prevalence of sign language as a primary mode of communication for many deaf individuals, there is still a significant communication gap between the deaf and the hearing community. So this gap arises due to lack of knowledge of the sign language among the hearing individuals. And then there is also the absence of effective tools for converting a spoken language into the sign language. For example, people who can speak uses the famous tools like Google Translate to convert any sign language, but we don't see such famous tools which is used worldwide for converting the sign language. So as a result, meaningful interaction and understanding between the deaf and the hearing community are often difficult. So there is a need for innovative solutions like the development of sign language converters. So this project aimed to develop the rule-based model for the translation of English text into the American Sign Language. So to give you a brief introduction about the sign language, sign language is very fascinating and it is a vibrant visual language where the hand gestures, facial expressions and the body movements convey the meaning. So for the deaf community, it's not just means of communication, it is a rich part of their culture and identity. So learning about the sign language opened the doors to understand and connecting with the vibrant community on a deeper level. So here are some of the famous sign languages which exist in the world, for example, American Sign Language, British, French, Chinese and Japanese. I mean all in all there are over 121 documented sign language because the sign language are not just the American sign language but they also have the dialects. So sign language have their own syntax because we can produce sounds so we have the words for every day to day conditions. I mean, we have more than 100,000 words in any language, but in sign language, they have the limitations for producing different types of gestures as they smartly use the word gestures to convey the message. So it's like art of conveying more by speaking less. In doing so, they eliminate the articles and the prepositions. They also fit the vocabulary according to their sign language. And then they also morph the verbs and objects and subjects to it. For example, here you can see Ali goes to the school becomes in sign language Ali school go. You can see that goes becomes go and then this verb also was sent to last and the object came first. Here is how the model works. You type in the text and then behind the scenes the text gets converted into what we call it the glosses which is the intermediate representation of the text. Basically it's like breaking down the words into the sign language terms and each of these glosses matches up with a video showing the sign in action which are synced them perfectly with the text which is given. So for this purpose I use the natural language processing. Natural language processing is an interdisciplinary subfield of the computer science and the linguistics. So basically it provides the ability to the computers to support and manipulate the human languages. From here you can see that the NLP is the subset of artificial intelligence and some of its principles also deploy the use of the machine learning and the deep learning concepts. With the help of NLP, you can do various tasks, for example, sentiment analysis, entity extraction, or the raw data language processing. For this project, I use the raw language processing abilities of the NLP. So this is the NLP pipeline, which I used for making of this project. The first is the input text, where you can input the text. Other is the tokenization of the words. What is the word's tokenization? Tokenization is a process of breaking up a given text into the units called the tokens. And tokenization is like breaking down a sentence into smaller pieces. Yeah, so imagine if you have a sentence and you want to understand each word separately. So tokenization just does that and it splits the text into the individual words or the smaller parts like the punctuation marks or the full stop. So this process helps the computers to understand and analyze the language more easily. So making the task like language learning, language processing and analysis much more manageable. After that, the stop words were removed. So the 
stop words removal is a crucial text in the processing these are words like the is on a which appears frequently in the language but they don't carry much meaning on their own so by removing these stop words we can focus on more important words that convey the core message of the text so in this project i took it a step further by creating a specific stop word list tailored to my needs so this in list included common stop words as well as domain specific words that might not be relevant for the analysis so by customizing the stop word list it helped me for text processing pipeline to better suit the goals of the project and making it more accurate so after the stop words removal the words were limitized so what is limitization limitization is a linguistic process that reduces words to their base or root form known as limas and for example the word achieving or achieve would be reduced to its lima achieve so this technique helps in standardizing words so that the variation of the same word are treated as one entity which makes the analysis more efficient and accurate because this project was analyzing text data so limitization held in consolidating the words with the same meaning into the single representation which gave insights into the underlying content and also helped in decreasing the vocabulary so after the words were limitized then the name entity recognition was done what is name entity why it is done because it enhances the efficiency and accuracy of the text processing task so it is a technique used to identify and categorize the name entities within a text such as the name of the people the organization and the location and even the dates so it helped in keeping the information and displaying it correctly in the sign language videos after that the synonyms was checked how the synonyms was checked with the help of the vectorization now the vectorization in nlp involves transforming words or text documents into the numerical vectors so it helps in computational analysis of the text because the computers only understand the numbers and not the text so by representing text as vectors model can perform the mathematical operations for tasks like similarity comparison or the classification so this is very famous example so one hot encoding is a simple term is like assigning a unique id to each word in a vocabulary so if you have the sentence each word get its own spot in the big list so marked with 1 if it is present and then marked with 0 if it is not present so this technique helps machine understand words in a numerical way so making it easier for them to process an analysis of text for example if you see the example of cat from the sentence all other words were given zero identity and the cat is given one identity hence it got one hot encoding like this the another famous example is the word to vector so word to vec model was developed in 2013 so it is a popular model used in the natural language processing for generating word embeddings word embeddings are the dense numerical representation of the words so these embeddings capture the semantic relationship between the word and it helps the machine to understand the language in a more meaningful way so words are mapped on the word vectors in a continuous space vector where the similar words are located closer to each other and that's how the synonyms are found so when the word is presented on the vector space then you can also do the task like king minus man plus woman is equal to queen which is impossible to do it when they are in the textual form how i used the vectorization for finding the synonyms so what i did was i took the 2000 american sign language words and matched them with their sign language videos so i used a data set called the wlasl world level american language data set which has the english words with their american sign language videos now to find the synonyms i changed the english words to their synonyms and checked if they matched any of the 2000 asl words so if they did i used the asl sign instead of the original english word and word which is not present in the sign language dictionary after the synonym 
the grammar was checked because as we have discussed earlier sign language grammar has their own syntax for this i use the pos tagging so pos tagging or the part of a speech tagging is like giving each word in a sentence a label that shows what type of word it is whether it is noun whether it is adjective whether it is verb and so on and this helps the computer to understand the structure and meaning of the sentence better which is super handy for the language analysis and the translation task so what i did was i used the pos tagging to label each word in a spoken english with its part of speech so like if it's a noun or verb or an adjective then i used this label information to maintain the structure of the american sign language from the spoken english so by matching pos tagged english words with their corresponding asl signs i made sure that the asl structure stayed accurate while converting the spoken english after this i joined the words now the words were joined with the comma separated characters and stored in the form of the list and then each character in the in this list has the asl videos so it is like a gloss to the asl videos and as soon as it is recognized by the system the video is played um, like i said the next part is the is to run the videos for this also i generated the video generation pipeline so once the sentence is put as input, each word is searched in the word mapping database, which I built in the word mapping database, the word is present and then its ID is present, which is like um, address to the videos, which is played. When the word is found, the video is played and that is all for the project. The technical skills required for making this project were uh, the NLP and machine learning concepts. You must know the NLP and machine learning concepts with their libraries like NLTK, Spacey and Pandas. And you also know the basic programming skills of Python language and then some essentials of the computer vision. For example, I was running the video with the help of the OpenCV. The future prospect you can build a transformer model by the use of the data set and then you can use the avatar instead of the fragmented videos to make it more seamless and good and more professional and then it is only a one-way translation we can build a model which does the two-way translation and then you can develop a user-friendly ui so that it is accessible for all and then for this i was the only one who was evaluating but the real evaluation takes place with the real users so we can you make the users take their feedback and depending upon their feedback we can also improve our model so thank you and and if you like it please share and subscribe Oi.